The Kiwi Tech Carry Pack is a portable all-in-one grazing system designed to make your life easier. If you're looking to build a custom Kiwi Tech system for your setup, you can check out our other Kiwi Tech videos that include assembly instructions for winders and carry packs. In this video, we'll show you how to use a Kiwi Tech Carry Pack to set up and tear down paddock divisions. Before we can use our Kiwi Tech Carry Pack, we need to load it with spools and with posts. We're gonna start with posts here in the rack. A couple things we wanna pay attention to. As we slide posts into the rack, it needs to go between the black uprights and the yellow uprights. We wanna make sure that our clips fall to either side of the yellow upright. As we start stacking posts, we'll stagger the feet so that they're offset, that way we can make as much use of our vertical space as possible. We also want to pay attention to the sequence in which we load it. We want the sequence to match how we're going to be pulling posts out as we go down the line. So in this case, I need a few line posts in this direction, and behind me, I'll need my brace assembly. So now that we have our line posts in here, I'm going to add my brace post, stagger that foot again, and then our end post with our release hooks. When you're all finished loading posts, we will just throw the latch for the rack. This adds tension to the posts and holds everything securely. Now we're ready to load spools onto our carry pack. So I'm just gonna set it on the side like that. This is our chuck, this is the chuck spindle. To load spools, we want to loosen the chuck by giving it a counterclockwise spin at the end. That makes it skinnier, there's less push on the outside so it's easy to slide spools on. We wanna slide spools down onto the chuck in a way that the twine is coming off the top of the spool and not up from the bottom. This first one is really easy, you'll feel it press into place up against the end of the chuck. The next two, or depending on how many spools you're using, you'll have to feel for that center groove to let you know you've made it to the correct position on the chuck. Again, following the same pattern with the twine coming off the top of the spool. And you'll see here there's an even spacing between each of the spools indicating we do have proper alignment. Once they're in place, we can tighten our chuck, giving it a clockwise turn. And we'll just set that tension or that drag to our desired setting. And you can see we have three different gate handle options here. We have a, a strainer handle, a zammer handle, and just an open twine, we'll show you three different ways that you can connect to a fence. Before we attach to our fence or pay out our twine, we wanna make sure that our twine is feeding through our guides properly. So if we're using a larger style handle like this that can't feed directly through the guide, we'll just give ourselves a little bit of slack to work with. If we put that handle over top of the loop and then take the twine down around, now it's fed through. This first inner line does not have a second guide on the uh, triple or double carry packs. It just goes through the first guide and runs freely after that. If you're using the Zammer handle, it's skinny enough to fit through the direct guide. And then same thing, just take enough slack through there. And on this third strand, we're gonna show you a way to connect without a gate handle so we can just feed it straight through the guides. So here we have three different methods of hooking up to an existing fence. This is the Kiwi Tech strainer handle. It has a pigtail loop for a really secure hold. It's heavy duty and it features this spooler capability to allow you to take up extra slack out of your line once your tension is already set. And this handle can conduct the whole way through the handle. To do that, after we take a couple passes to set our tension, as long as a pass or two goes around the top portion of the spooler, there's some bare exposed metal here. This is a continuation of the hook from the front of the handle. As long as it's making contact there and we hook it up to the fence, it will be conducting down the line. Another option for hooking up to an existing fence is the Zammer handle. These are really convenient. I like them because they're small, they're slender, they're easy to tuck inside a spool when not in use. You have a metal hook for conducting through the gate handle and you also have the option to insulate if you need a neutral line. And lastly, we can use a Kiwi Tech release hook with just a bare end of twine to connect to our fence. There are two ways that we can use Kiwi Tech release hooks to attach our open end of the twine to an existing fence or to start our run. First way is by assembling and installing a brace. 
So here we have a vertical post with our release hooks and we have a diagonal brace. We showed this process in our other video where we covered Kiwi Tech posts. So check that out if you need a refresher on that. But now we're ready to attach our twine. Release hooks show a specific pattern of how we can wrap our twine around here to give a tight hold. So we just take our tail, we give ourselves adequate slack, and then we follow the sequence in the number pattern. So you can see our numbers right here on the tabs of the release hook. Basically, we're gonna zigzag back and forth. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna lay it in the slot for one, heading in this direction, wrap around for two, back through the slot, wrap around for three. Now four comes from the opposite way. Make sure that four stays on top of two and it doesn't slide down behind two. Back through the slot and around for five. So now when we pull on this, it's gonna cinch tight and that's gonna hold it. And there's a specific sequence of tugs we can do to make this release further down the line when we're ready to tear it down. The other way we can use a release hook instead of attaching it to a post is just by letting it free float on an existing high tensile line. Now, if you're using this on a hot strand, you'll wanna use your remote or go back to the energizer and turn it off just so that you're not getting shocked in the process. So we're just gonna compress the springs. We're gonna feed the wire right through this slot and then we'll turn it horizontal, pull this other arm open and now it's just free hanging on the fence and we can do the same wrapping pattern with our twine like we did on our post. The carry pack is loaded. The gate handles are attached to the fence in a sequence that matches the spools on the carry pack. So we're ready to pay out twine. We can pick up our carry pack and walk straight away from the fence. As we do, it's gonna pull the slack right around me. I can also unlatch my rack to be able to access my posts. So what I wanna do is bring the post behind me and as I push it down, I have a slight angle so that the hooks of the clips can catch the twine on the way down. And then I can push it in vertically just like that. So as I push the post down, I have a slight angle. What I'm trying to do is catch each strand of twine on the hook, give it a rotation, and then plant it vertical as I step it in the ground. And then continue down the fence line. Once our twine is paid out and our posts are set, we're ready to terminate our spools at the other end of the fence. For this example, we're using the same end of the fence. We're using our same release hook end assembly to show you how to terminate. What we wanna do first is take our twine out of each of the guides. So we're just gonna take it around the end and around the loop. Do this with each strand. Around the end and around the loop. Around the end and around the loop around the end and around the loop. So now that we're free of the guides, we can loosen our chuck counterclockwise motion and tip it over. And we'll use our hand with our knee to push each spool off of the chuck. And now we can set our carry pack aside and just deal with our spools. So this is our bottom strand. We can just use our hands to take up extra slack as we pop it onto the two prongs of the release hook. This is our second strand and we can just do the same thing. We'll take up slack by hand as we pop in both prongs. And we can repeat the same procedure for our third and last strand as we clip it onto our post. Now we can also attach these to a release hook that is free floating on a wire. Same thing, pull it up here, pop one prong at a time, and it can float on the line just like that. And that's how you would use spools and release hooks in a Kiwi Tech system to terminate at a paddock end. Next, we'll show you all the steps to tear down the same paddock division. I'll go ahead and take my release hooks and spools apart put the spools back on the chuck and we'll be ready to rewind. When we're ready to tear down a paddock division and we're leaving our gate handles hooked at the fence end, what we need to do is adjust our chuck so that we have just enough drag, just enough resistance as we're winding, 
but also allowing slippage if one strand goes tight before the rest. That way it can free spin while we take up slack. So once our chuck is adjusted, we can start winding and walking. And as we reach a post, pull it out of the ground, give it a turn to release it from the hooks, store it in our rack. We can carry everything with us as we go and then continue down the fence. If you started your run with release hooks instead of gate handles, we can actually release the tension from the opposite end of the fence. What we need to do is come and grab our twine and we're gonna give a series of long pulls, pausing in between. And this is gonna work the slack through the release hook and allow it to release fully so that we can wind it up from a stationary position down here. The number of pulls may depend on how long the tail is in the release hook. So we're gonna give a long pull that one was nice and quick because we only had a small tail. So for our second strand, and our third strand, and this is a motion that can't be replicated by livestock, so it's just something that the fence manager can do. And now we have slack and we'll be able to pull up all the slack with our carry pack. To keep the spools nice and neat, I'll feed the last little bit of slack through and then try to wedge that piece of the twine between the other twine and the edge of the spool. And that prevents it from going slack while we're carrying it across the pasture. The Kiwi Tech Carry Pack is a versatile and customizable tool for any grazing operation. You can find the kit and its components at kencove.com and be sure to check out our other Kiwi Tech videos to learn more about these game-changing products. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more fencing tips and expert advice.